Hi all, I'm Trinkin, and today we're going for Delirium with Jacob and Esau. Our first item room is Sack of Pennies, so we're off to a bad start. Luckily, this gold chest gives us PJs, massively increasing Esau's chance of surviving. Our first boss fight is Black Widow. We make quick work of her with the bomb. Latch key is another huge disappointment, but it does drop skeleton key, so we backtrack to clean up. We do find the super secret room, but it only has a soul heart for us. On the other hand, the regular secret room gives us 13 coins. With all this extra health, we take a chance on the curse room, which pays off as we get a black heart and some extra cash before moving on to the next floor. On the second floor, we grab Guppy's Tail from the curse room. In the shop, we pick up BFF's uh, re-roll and pick up Mum's key. We re-roll again, spawning more options. We don't have enough cash right now, but this is an S tier for Jacob and Esau. So we're coming back and leaving the treasure room for now. After beating Monstro, we ignore the devil deal, but we do take matchbook. The extra bombs from matchbook, let's get into the secret room, which gives us more coins. Now we pick up more options and finally check out the treasure room. Little Brimstone is good for us with BFFs. Kidney Bean is cringe and it's time to move on to the next floor. On the third floor, we get an insanely good treasure room. Jacob grabs Botfly, and I decide to risk putting Libra on Esau. In the shop, Jacob picks up Smelter and uses it on Matchstick, then Smelts Doorstop 2. We take on Megamore and then give toothpicks to Libred Esau, giving him a large stats up, and then we move on to the next floor. On floor four, Esau takes an experimental pill giving luck down, resulting in all Libra stats purely going up. In the treasure room, Esau grabs fortune cookie, leaving behind his kidney bean. Jacob smelts Pulse Worm before we take on Fistula. Then Esau grabs Mum's Heels and we move on to the next floor. On the fifth floor, we get Binky from a golden chest. This gives Esau another round of stats up. Jacob picks up Black Tooth and smelts it. In the treasure room, we pick up Teleport 2.0 and Backstabber. Then we drop Teleport and take back Smelter. We make short work of Reap Creep and get our first Angel Room. Esau grabs Screw for another round of stats up. In the Angel Room, we take on Uriel for Key Piece 1. Then Esau grabs Book of Revelations and Jacob takes the Fortune Cookie. So now both of them have actives which generate Soul Hearts and we move on to the next floor. On floor six, we go straight to the curse room, grabbing a black heart. We find the super secret room, which only has red hearts and is useless to us right now. Fortune cookie 
drops a Joker card for us. The Devil Room has Abaddon, which doesn't seem worth the risk right now, so we leave it. We get another Joker card, which we hold on to for now. The Treasure Room gives us Bloodshot Eye and Book of Sin. We pick up Book of Sin to count towards Bookworm, then swap it back for Book of Revelations. In the shop, we buy the Bible, so Esau can get the Bookworm bonus, and then we take the Book of Revelations back. Then, we take on Mum. After beating her, we take Polaroid and the negative before moving on. On floor 7, we use our Joker card, and it's another disappointing devil deal for us, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, the next boss is Conquest, who we make very short work of. We leave the White Pony in favour of our current active items, and move on. On floor 8, the secret room gives us some extra cash. Next, we find a library, allowing Jacob to also get the bookworm bonus. The super secret room gives us bloody crown, which is useless as we're already on womb 2. We find an arcade, and it's gambling time. Our first machine gives us a retro vision pill. On the second machine, we hit the jackpot, a dollar. And the third machine gives us nothing of note before blowing up. Next, we take on It Lives. Luckily, we get an angel room spawn just in time for us to get the second key piece. Esau picks up the soul and we take on Gabriel. Now, with both key pieces, we move on to the cathedral. We get lucky and find Jira, which we're going to hold on to for the next floor. Another lucky find, Esau gets Brainworm. We find another slot machine. And it's not much use to us, but we get a second dollar. The secret room gives us more coins, and the super secret room gives us red hearts. With the disappointing secret rooms found, it's time to move on to the Isaac fight. Then, we move on to the chest. The Mega Satan fight is unlocked, but we have some extra items to grab first. We use Jira to duplicate the chests in this first room. And we get Varicose Veins, Key Bum, Host Hat, Lil Spewer, Chocolate Milk, Friendly Ball, Roid Rage, and Eve's Mascara. We leave behind the friendly bull and move on. Next, we grab Dead Bird, then Cracked Orb. Then we get very lucky and pick up one of my favorite items in the entire game, Tech Zero. We also manage to find a Sun card, which maps out the rest of the floor for us. In the secret room, we grab Nancy Bombs. From a double Super Gluttony fight, we get Bucket of Lard. We also get Prayer Card, which we leave behind in favour of our Book of Revelations. Next, Esau grabs Odd Mushroom, and then Knockout Drops. Esau's getting incredibly powerful now. We get a great super secret room on this floor, where Jacob gets Camo Undies, and Esau gets Lodestone. Next, we take on Blue Baby before Mega Satan. Fortune Cookie drops a Chaos card, which will be useful against Mega Satan. We 
we use the chaos card to skip phase one, meaning we just need to beat phase two. After beating Mega Satan, we get lucky and the void opens for us, meaning we can also take on Delirium. In the void, we get Glass Eye from a Golden Chest and now it's boss rush time. First, we fight Mr. Fred, who drops Mum's bottle of pills, which we don't take. Next, we fight Death, who drops the poop, which we also don't take. Then we fight the adversary and they drop Jacob's ladder, which is great for us. They also drop the sun card, which makes exploring this floor much easier. In the secret room, we take down Super Greed. We absolutely destroy War, who gives us Guppy's eye. Next up, we take on the gate, and Jacob grabs another orbital in Big Fan. Now we take on the beast, he drops red key, so we take that. We use the red key to access the ultra secret room, but unfortunately this just has shoop to whoop, so we leave that and move on. Next boss fight is with the Devil, who drops a pre-stock, far too late for it to be useful to us. We have our second fight with Conquest, who gives us supper. And now, finally, we're going to take on Delirium.
This is one of my fastest Delirium wins ever, thanks to just how OP Esau got in this run. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.